Good morning, sunshines. It's not morning, it's evening, and we're about to go to the UK. I'm all packed up with my bag of like all winter clothes. I'm packed like I'm going to the fucking North Pole. I have my backpack, my laptop, jackets. I have to leave my chamois, my Asian wife, behind. It's just for a week. Just for a week, guys. I'm gonna totally survive this. See that? I can see my breath. This is not okay. This is not okay. My chauffeur has arrived two hours late. I forgive you. <laughs> so cold. Oh my gosh, your whole trunk opens. That's cool. Just put all the seats down. So I 100 percent just shamelessly check tried to get into the. Uh... Check the. Uh, check my screen. Did you drop something there? I didn't end up eating any of the plain food because it was disgusting. I don't even know. So I'm, I thought I'm going to pass out. I'm so hungry. We're in Nando's. Nobody can hear me. I know I speak kind of under my breath. Beautiful food. Crainy. Creepy crainy. <laughs> Favorite thing to get at Nando's is mango lime chicken wrap and mashed potatoes. What do y'all call mashed potatoes? Uh, it said something else on the menu. It's like creamy mash. That's just that one. Oh. That's tired. Dan's got the champs on on our ride to Birmingham. Listening to uh, one hour of elves, fairies, and more folk music. And we've just finished one hour of what was it? Mystical music. Mystical, mystical or something. This is uh, this is what we're jamming to. Great, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boris, look at the. She was looking at the people this whole time. <laughs> I have arrived two hours ago. Two hours late. It was literally two hours after I got playing. Give it 40 minutes. Good morning, sunshines. It's day one in sunshiny England. And I did not sleep last night. So my face probably shows. I felt like 5.30 and it's 8.30 right now, 9. Time to go to work and get some stuff done. This is gonna be fine. My outfit of the day is my uh, blue, my blue onesie scarf and my snow boots. Because, you know, comfort. Starbucks. This is um, how I'm responding to only getting an hour and a half of sleep. Ben's very upset with me. He hasn't talked to me the whole ride because I didn't bring him, so. Why are you so mad, Ben? Nikki loves caffeine and now she's also putting caffeine on her face. It has caffeine. Wait, where'd the package go? Triple oxygen, instant Sorry, energizing. Here at the gym shark. HQ. Ben, when can I tell them what I'm doing? Um, some point in the next few weeks. Oh, Three weeks. Christmas. Oh. Christmas? Oh, that'd be a cool Christmas announcement. So I'm gonna take these off. Y'all saw what I look like earlier. Let's see the improvement, if there's any. I feel like it looks like more. Oh, It's my office. Step in. So nice. Did you just put all of your stuff on Ben's desk or is this Ben's desk? That is, because that's, that is disgusting. <laughs> this is Benjamin's desk. You can tell Benjamin gets a lot done at it. What Ben wants to do is ruin a desk and then move somewhere else. <laughs> now Ben's sat over there today. That desk there tomorrow will be destroyed. Then he'll move over here. Are you doing super secret stuff? Yeah, well I've just got a pop-up from Nikki B. Meeting <laughs> Good morning, sunshines. We are here in Ben and Robin's. Place. Just made breakfast. I'm having eggs and a toasty. What's a toasty? I thought the bread said toast on the outside. And Rob and I decorated yesterday. Look how pretty it is. There was no tree, no nothing. Now it's glorious. Yay, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's so cute. A couple days in Birmingham, flew by with no sleep, with a lot of deliriousness. We got so much done, and now we are jumping in the car and on our way to London. Sorry for the lack of vlog footage, and I have to keep stuff on the DL, apparently. We have arrived in the great city of London, met up with Noel and Shaw. Rob and Ben. Okay, I'm sick of wheeling it, but I'm gonna have some fun tonight. I'm thinking this little area, this hotel room, because it's the desk, and this pops up into a mirror so you can do your makeup and stuff. That is brilliant. 
a brilliant use of space, if I do say so myself. I literally turned that light over here so I could take a selfie. No shame. But wearing this big giant scarf thing I got from Lululemon a long time ago. This is a Burberry jacket. It's the nicest thing I own. I got it stolen last time I went to New York out of my luggage, but I got it replaced. I have my Steve Madden boots and my little black pants. Very, very um, warm. <laughs> We have left our adventures of the evening where we had a swaggy DJ no. and everything and now we're hunting down pizza and Nola's leading us down DJ. dead fucking alleys! DJ Martin Too Smooth, go check him out, he's my friend and he's fucking cool. It was, it was nice, it was nice. Uh, However, now... Ben kept saying Unlimited carbs, no. Yeah, Ben kept saying <laughs> That's carbs join... and fat, no. That's yeah, a was, lot of fat. He was causing... Uh, ben kept going to me, join me on this balking journey, right? So I said, all right, Ben, I'll have some carbs. Literally, as I was ordering the Penny Flies at Nando's, Ben went, I'm cutting now, everyone. <laughs> he was black. I need some chocolate. I was like, no, I need like some shit, right? He was like, no, it's carbs. And I was like, no, it's... It's definitely carbs and a lot of fat. That's exactly what I said. A meant. lot of like, fat, a lot oh, of fat. You don't fucking know anything about macros. We are like, in. We're in a black cab. Is that what they're called? Yep. In London, we're in a black cab in London, and we're going to get pizza. Hey, I hate We're not going to get pizza because <laughs> everyone hates me. Good morning, sunshines. Even though it's the middle of the night, <laughs> and I'm in London, I had a great night with good friends and good people. But I felt like I'm going through a time period of my life, which I kind of want to call my quarter life crisis, and that I am very I'm feeling a lot of things. I feel like I'm at that pivotal point where you're trying to decide whether you're going to be a good person or a bad person. Not that I've ever even leaned towards being a bad person, but for example, CME just got, she was at the house in England right now, and she was visiting her cousin and she was in her car, but she just checked the mail. She had gotten the mail from our place and she she had my keys because my keys have the mailbox key that was in her car and her car got broken into and so my keys and my mail got stolen so someone's running around with the keys to literally the keys to my house to my car my Range Rover to the front door of my house to my mailbox to everything they have the keys to it and they also have my address because they have the mail they took it so that's so frustrating guys because <laughs> the amount of times that I've gotten my car broken into in Houston or like Christian's gotten his car broken into. Derek got his car stolen from his driveway, you know? The city is just polluting my vision of the goodness of humanity in my mind and it's making me very angry and very sad about just humans in general. It's so frustrating that you can't park your car in the street and leave anything in it. And, and if you do, you're just automatically a target. There's so many times this year in 2016 that I have been proven wrong, that I have literally put my whole heart and soul into believing that these certain people that I knew and loved were good people, like down to their core, no matter what, they were good people. And I would have backed that up with my life. You could have said, I'm gonna hold a gun to you and shoot you in the head if you don't think this is a good person. And I would have said, you were 100% correct. Like, shoot me, like, I know this person's a good person. And I've been proven wrong. Like when she did that, I never would have fathomed that of that kind of human. I would have assumed that human would have been good forever. And down to the core, she was like a good, pure human being. I was proven wrong with that. And I feel like even though these good, pure human beings continue to prove themselves to be like not perfect. We all have flaws, I understand that. Like we all make mistakes, but you can't let that be your view of humanity, especially since Trump is our president now. Guys, when I heard that on the plane on the way here, I was refreshing my election updates and then I fell asleep and I woke up and my plane sat, or my Wi-Fi was updated and I saw that Donald won and I cried. I cried for the women of our country. I cried for the children, for the little Muslim children, for the African-American girls, for like everyone, like these little girls that are afraid to be who they are because of this person who's been very outwardly spoken towards being racist and sexist and everything. And I just feel like that's not the kind of person that you want to be the head of your country and I feel like that's very heartbreaking to me. I'm a white woman and I feel like I'm fucking privileged already for that and, I, and it annoys me and I, and I don't agree with it and I don't like that that person is who people are gonna assume the rest of our country is. And I hate that that assumption is real and that assumption's there. I have this faith in humanity and I fucking care and I want, and I want to love everyone and I want to believe that everyone's good and whole and 
at the end of the day, even if they're angry, even if they're pissed off, like they still fucking care, you know what I mean? You still want the best for everyone and you still want people to like live and love and succeed. People don't want that, like people don't care. Like people are mean and hateful and m cruel in ways that you could never imagine. And I've been proven wrong so many times in 2016 over people that I really believed were pure and good and, and, it's, and it's weird and it's, it's a mind fuck. Honestly, it's a total mind fuck. And I don't want to ramble on or go through like too many specifics, whatever, like I've given you enough, but I can't, I can't, even though I want to, like I want to just be like, fuck it, like everyone's wrong, like everything's wrong, the world is fucked, like who cares at this point? You know, I should just be selfish, like who cares? I'm just gonna look out for me because fuck everyone else, right? But like I can't, like I can't do that. I want to believe in the world. There's good in this world and I want to fight for it and it sounds fucking cheesy. Fucking, I don't even know what I'm what I'm trying to emphasize here, but like I, I care about people and I care about humans. I just don't understand how you can be so malicious. Like I don't, I can't empathize with that. I can't sympathize with that. I can't relate to it. I don't care if I don't like you. I don't care if you don't want you to succeed. Like I don't, I feel like there's enough room for us all to. I don't like everyone in this world. I feel like some people are kind of mean and fucked up and it's very strange to me and I really want to believe and Sammy just texted me and, and that's what made me think of this and she was just like, thank you so much for not being mad, for not being, I feel like it was my fault, like blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, it's not your fault that there's bad in the world that someone wants to break into your car. Like that's not your fault, you know? Even people I don't know. I have a feeling in my heart. I have this empathetic heart that swells up when I read stories or when I think things or I care about people and I want everyone to succeed and I feel like there's enough good and wholeness and success in the world for everyone for all of us and our dreams and our hopes and our and I, and I think there's hope in it and I can't give up on that because god 2016 is fucked me over in my in my faith in humanity and I'm and I refuse to to erase it to eradicate it like it's still there and I've been proven wrong and people that I really believed in, that I really trusted, that I really loved with my whole heart and have, and have been proven wrong that they are not the character that they've pretended to be. And I'm not gonna let that deter my faith in humanity. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna keep growing my friendships that I have and trusting these people because if I don't, like, I don't, I don't know what the point of anything is. And I can't let that be my life. I can't, I have to believe, I have to know that it's okay. I have to love these people no matter what and, and I'm gonna keep doing that and that's all I can do. And I feel like I want the rest of the world to be like that too. To believe in love, to believe in in the good of the world. Like people are good and I know they are. It's just hard to believe right now. It sucks, but we're gonna make it. We're all gonna make it. We just have to believe that.